Good afternoon from Lanzarote Airport, but I'm not in the airport, I'm actually right at the side of it because you can do a bit of plane spotting here in Lanzarote. So if you're a bit of an aeroplane geek, an aviation expert, or you just like seeing planes land, well, you can see them from down on the front. But I've actually driven the car into this area here, which is right next to the airport. So let's have a little bit of a plane spotting session. Enjoy. So if you do have a car, you can come to this part of the airport and you can pull the car up and you're sort of on the other side of the fence. Most people down on the front will watch the planes landing from over there. But like I said, you can come into this area here. Now, I don't know how true this is, but at night time, this area becomes very popular for people that like walking dogs, but don't actually own dogs. I should let you use your own imagination, uh, but Mr. Travelon knows nothing about it. So walking along the side here, you can actually access this area from the main avenida anyway, so from the main strip. But I guess if you've got a car, it just means a little less walking um, because it's quite a walk from Puerto del Carmen. So if you want to drive up here, park the car, then you can come out to the best place to see the planes. And the planes will come in just over this part here. So this is the best place to be. And you can see there's a few people here and lots of people down in this area. So let's go see what we can spot. So here we go, you can get one of these bikes as well, look, these Flintstone bikes and cycle up here. That's what a lot of people do. And we've got the first plane coming in from here, look. Beautiful sunny day today. I think this might be a local one. This might be one of the Binter. Because it only looks small. Definitely one of the Binter planes, look. But this is literally how close you can get, look. And it's loads of fun and really, really loud as well. Fantastic. Let's see what the next one is. So you can actually visit this website here and see what time all the planes land. And I'll put a link and show you how you can do that. And it will give you the idea of sort of when things are coming in. Otherwise, you sort of stood here wondering when the next one's coming. But I can see it right in the distance. Um, you can see something glistening just over there. So I think this one is the London Gatwick. So here we go. This one could be the London Gatwick. Everyone's getting excited. <laughs> but it is a really cool thing to do if you want to come down here. And like I said, if you've got a car, you can park if you don't want to walk all the way down here. Or you can take a lovely walk along the coastline of Porta del Carmen and Matagorda and eventually find yourself here. So here we go. This is a big plane coming in. And it actually looks like it's going to go right into you, look. And listen to this noise. Unbelievable. Wow. So just down in this area as well, look, it's very busy for both pedestrians and cyclists as well. So do be aware that when you are sort of standing in this area, look, there is a bit of a cycle path here and then the pedestrian path is just there but you tend to sort of forget where you are because you're concentrating on the planes so just be aware of your surroundings and keep out of everybody's way that is the best thing to do so here we go if you can see in the distance there i think we've got a ryanair flight i think it's a london flight but you can hear it approaching so much fun Another successful on-time landing from Ryanair. And all those people are clapping their hands 
and getting ready for their holiday. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to head back up to the area where the car is parked um, and there you can get a different view. But like I said, look, look how many cyclists there are down here and pedestrians. And to be honest, I think they really need to sort the, the path out. I know you can sort of see which is cyclists and which is not. But as you could see there, uh, the cyclists are in the pedestrian area and the pedestrians are in the cyclist area. So neither are to blame, but just have your wits about you. And we're going to head in that direction. I'm going to get you a different view of the plane's landing. So here we go. So it's just up at this area here where you can actually enter that dirt track and get right up the side of the airport, which essentially overlooks the actual runway itself. Whereas where, you're, where we've just watched the planes come in, there's actually a sort of barrier up. So while you see them going over your head, you, uh, you don't tend to see them actually touching the tarmac. So if you just hop over this little wall here, look, and in this direction, it's gonna bring you right at the side of the airport, but right at the fence. Here, look, if you keep walking a little bit further up, well, you can actually see them landing and taking off at the same time, look. So you do actually get a bit of a better view. And if you're a bit of an aviation geek, well, you've got that one coming in, look, and touching the tarmac, and then you've got the EasyJet one taking off. So there's EasyJet over there, look. That's the bit of your holiday where you're a bit disappointed to go home, but you're also ready to go home because you're on the bloody plane and it's sort of just sat there ready to sort of turn the corner and hit the runway. But if you just walk a little bit further up, look, there's a little hill area here, look, and this will get you a super view of the Lanzarote airport and you can see everything, planes coming in and planes going out. There's actually two in the queue over there. Let's see if I can show you. And there we go, look, right at the top of this little hill area here. I mean, let's face it, you're not gonna get much of a better view than this, are you? You can literally camp yourself out. And although the, you don't get the up close and personal flights landing and planes coming right over your head, as you will, where you, where you go down there, up in this area here, is definitely a better view to see them land and take off. So here we go, look. You can see there's a plane coming in from this area here. So these are coming in to land and the others are waiting to go. So this is what I mean about actually getting a full view of everything, look. Wow, that's a pretty cool, cool plane. Look at the design on that, it's like a zebra. Wow, look at that. There you go, one in. And another one straight out again. I'll tell you what, it's busy, 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 isn't it, look? So easy jet going off there. Next in the queue, you've got one of the Binter flights, which is heading over to one of the other islands. And behind that, I think you've got a jet too. So I don't know which is better, watching them come right over your head or actually watching the mechanics of the airport and how it all works. Because there's not many places in the world, really. Well, I'm sure there is actually loads of places, but that you can get this, this close up. There we go, easy jet turn in the corner there. I think that one's off to London. Yes, there you go, that feeling where you hear the thrusters go so loud and noisy as well. And off they go. Home to the cold. <laughs> the Binter's next. There you go. Look, you can see that easy jet. Look, taking over, taking off over the mountains there. Look, beautiful views. 
and the Binta's next stop, which is probably heading over to Tenerife or Gran Canaria or one of the other islands. So there you go, that was ways to spot the planes coming in in Lanzarote. It's a great thing to do, and like I said, you can either walk along the promenade of Puerto del Carmen through Matagorda and get along the front to where we were at the beginning, or if you've got a car and you don't want to walk, you can actually pull in right here onto the dirt track and you get the best of both worlds. You get this part and you get the bit down there as well. So I don't know what you prefer. Do you want them flying over your head or do you want to see exactly what is going on at the airport? The ins and outs and everything like that. So if you do want to see planes landing in Lanzarote, I hope I've given you the full guide. There's one coming in right behind me. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe. And this is certainly a great thing to do in Lanzarote. I'll see you in the next video. See you later.